All right, here we are for the second match. We cannot keep a hand that doesn't have any creatures. This is fine. It's not great. We drop a Stalker on turn two and a Geist on turn three. So we're playing against tokens. That was a wonderful draw. We could play an unflinching, unflinching Courage on the third turn, but I still think it's better to get down a Geist. He's got lots of tokens. Huh. Does that change things? I don't think it does. I do know I don't want to trade my stalker for a spirit though. And I do think we're going to go down to 10 here. Wasting a murder on an angel is not going to do him much good. Soren? Yeah, Soren. Saw that coming. It's not going to be enough to kill our Geist. Is he hoping to race us? So he's just dead then. Why would he do that? I have exactly 11 points of damage on the board. 6, 10, 11. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Well, maybe we can get him to concede if we do this. Does he think I'll attack Soren? I don't know. So he's playing black, he might have removal. I don't think it's a big deal. I think our cyber plan is pretty much going to be the same that it was last game. But I do think the miners are not going to be very useful here. Maybe I want a strangle root instead of the last smiter. I could see that. Yeah, I think this is fine. We'll run with this. He's playing a 62 card deck as well. I don't like the fact that we don't have a hexproof creature here, but I don't think it's... I think we still got to keep it. Uh, maybe we don't. We know he's playing black. We know he has removal. We can load this up with a lot of auras, but... What are our chances of drawing a hexproof creature? 
one, I haven't seen a voice yet. One, two, three, four, eight. So eight out of 53. I think I'm gonna mulligan. This is a better hand. We just need to hope we draw some white mana. Not looking good. Well, we can play this at least. I wonder if he's playing Devour Plush. Soren's not going to really help. Come on, land. Ah, uh, nuts. I do think we have to attack Soren here. There goes, who knows, Poly Rancor. It's the only thing we can play right now. He'd be, yeah, okay. Land? Not land, but. We can kill Soren now. We could kill him even without the spectral plight, but yeah, he does. Uh oh, I don't know how that helps him. Ah, oh, that's how it helps him. We desperately need to draw land. Oh, that sucks. Now we just have to stay back. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Stuck on two lands the entire time. I still don't think we change anything. I can't keep a one lander. This is good though. Next turn we can drop a Spectral Flight and spin for three, which is good. Especially now that he doesn't have any, well now that he doesn't have anything on the board, I think I'm gonna drop a Near Heath Pilgrim. We're going to lose a Spectral Flight here. Maybe the Simic Charm. Probably the Flight, though. It's 
That's all he has, huh? Next turn, we can either drop another Invisible Stalker or Rancor, depending on what he does. Mutilate. Oh, Desecration Demon. Interesting. No, I don't think I care. Huh. Now I might. Let's have this pump come into play untapped. So I want to keep his Desecration Demon tapped down because my Invisible Stalker just isn't quite big enough to deal with him. So let's play a, another Invisible Stalker and a Rancor. Let's sacrifice this Invisible Stalker. This puts him dead on the backswing if I swing or I sack the near Heath Pilgrim with Simic Charm. Let's see what he does here. I don't know how good this matchup is. He's attacking, interesting. I don't think he will. Oh, he will. Ah, I see. That'll do it. Hmm. All that does is game him life back. So he's caught in a nasty little loop now. I don't think I do so 7, 8, 9 I can do him 12 exactly if he does the same trick again so he can go ahead So unless he can play something with one mana, he's dead. Especially now. So that is the second match. I don't like how it's giving us Return to Ravnica packs. I wish they'd fix that. Anyways, third match coming up in a second.